Oh my gosh, look, I'm in my bed that's as big as my room. Yes, I am home, and yes, Lunchbox Science is back for weekly videos, I promise, and yes, my hair is brown. I cannot tell you how happy I am to be home, and being happy makes us smile. Which brings us to this week's question, submitted by this lovely person. Dogs show happiness by wagging their tails, and humans do this by smiling, but why? What is the purpose of the social behavior of smiling and laughter? So accepting the fact that evolution is a thing, it follows that all of our behaviors sprang out of some evolutionary need or a reason for adaptation. So sociobiology is a field of study that explores why humans behave the way they do and what the biological underpinnings of those behaviors are. Scientists are still looking into all of the reasons why the emotion of happiness and the chemicals that occur in our brain to make us feel happy are connected to the mechanical, muscular motion of smiling. However, there has been a lot of research done about the evolutionary reasons for why we do what we do, and a lot of it links back to our ape ancestors. And for a long time this is really confusing because apes show their teeth very often when they're trying to display aggression. New studies have shown that when apes are displaying aggression, their teeth are apart and their lips are taut, bearing their teeth. But when apes are trying to show submission, their lips are relaxed and their teeth are together. The purpose of this is the aggressive teeth showing means that they're ready to bite something because their teeth are apart. Whereas the submissive teeth showing is sort of the facial equivalent of holding your hands up to show that you don't have any weapons. We come in peace. Dogs display a similar behavior where they can smile submissively, curling their lips up above their teeth and holding them together. Or, of course, as we all know, the scary teeth bearing that means they're going to bite you and right now. <laughs> Do you want to say hi? This is Maximus the Poodle. I often call him the Noodle because when he gets shaved he gets so skinny. Say hi! Okay, bye. So scientists believe that smiling at humans is a welcoming gesture showing to other organisms that we're not here to hurt them. As most of us know, smiles, particularly in humans, are a little more complex than that. They don't always mean aggression or submission. Smiles can mean lots of different things, and for a facial expression they have a lot of layers, a fact which is epitomized, I think, by this quote from Scientific American on the subject. is kind of a different story. Laughter is a behavior that is displayed by many species, and it all means basically the same thing. That we're having fun and enjoying being with the organisms around us. And scientists believe that the evolutionary underpinnings of this behavior comes from a panting that our ape ancestors displayed. When apes are playing, or if they're tickled, they exhibit a <sighs> a sort of panting that sounds very similar to our laughter. Now, though laughter may have originated as a play behavior, half a side effect of cardio and half a behavior displaying an enjoyment of the other organisms, it has become, in human cultures, sort of a more complex sociobiological behavior. A study done at the University of Pittsburgh showed that people laugh most often not when they're told a joke, but at random intervals during a conversation after completely normal statements, such as, how'd you do on the test? <laughs> it sort of acts as a social glue that indicates to the other person having a conversation that we're enjoying talking to them and that they are welcome in our lives. One of the most interesting things about laughter and smiling is that they are innate behaviors. They are one of the very few human behaviors that we exhibit without having learned them at all. And the great thing is, is that everybody understands it. From all cultures, all languages, smiling and laughter are the universal signs for, hey, let's play. If you have a fun or interesting story where a smile didn't necessarily mean what you thought it meant, or if something really awesome happened because of a random smile or laugh, please go ahead and submit it down in the comments, along with any more questions for next week's video. You can submit down in the comments below on our Tumblr, which is also down in the links below, on Facebook or on Twitter. So please remember to like, reblog, follow, subscribe, all that jazz. Reach out to people, make connections, remember to smile, and don't forget to pack your lunchbox. Max, say good luck on finals. Good luck on finals! <laughs> ba da 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 dum ba dum